Look at me, man. I am alive. Braven's alive too. Yes. Bra Braven hasn't been feeling good as well. So, um, yeah, it's early in the morning. What time is it? We actually got up at like 6:45, huh? It's 7:30. Took us less than an hour to get get out of the house. <laughs> well, we have a tool bag ready. Uh, Got to load up my junkyard camera. We're also going to be loading the head up after the junkyard. Going to stop the machine shop and drop this thing off. Uh, put it in the comments down below if you guys have ever seen this before. Because I was looking at this head last night. Look, it has stock retainers. There's definitely stock retainers in there, right? Those are single springs on the exhaust side. But the intake side... The intake side has dual valve springs. Why is that, man? Did somebody just put dual valve springs on one side of this head? Or is that like a is that like a factory thing? I don't know. Put it in the comments down below if that's something that you, you have seen before. But we're hitting the road. I'm going to try to have a little bit more energy in this video. I do feel a little bit better. But not a lot better, but a little bit better. All right, be safe, buddy. You guys are in the hands of Braven's driving. Not very safe. Yeah. Yep, taking Braven's Yukon like we always do. It's the only vehicle we have with air conditioning because I still haven't gotten my damn Suburban back. It's been in the shop for like three weeks now. Has it been three weeks or two weeks? It's been like it's been a month. It's been a whole ass month. Where you at, Junior? The hell, what are you doing? What are you doing to the Suburban? I feel like he's swapping it out, bro. You know what he's doing? He's he's taking my 6.0. Playing a 5.3. No, he's he's swapping my 6.0 out for 4.8 or something. He's like, Mwah! we're gonna take his, his engine. <laughs> well, he's had it long enough. Shit. No, for real, he, he found a lot of problems with the AC system, like some in the dash type stuff. If you guys didn't know, that thing has rear AC also. So he's been fixing a lot of shit, I guess, and having problems finding the correct compressor for it. And yeah, whatever. So we should eventually have it back. 50 minutes this junkyard is 50 minutes away from us right now it's 40 miles away bro i'm like are you kidding me what the hell i mean luckily it's a 202 which is... i mean should we go to the the close like to the junkyards over here first or well i don't you already asked them the closest one is gonna have it but that's pull and save like which we never all... really go to the gilbert yard which i feel like we might actually find some stuff there yeah, I don't know, man. 50 minutes, bro. It's an hour one way. <laughs> you pull up that GPS? Head south on North 67th Avenue. There's a 14-minute slowdown on I-10 East in one mile. You're on the best route. You should reach your destination by 8.42 a.m. been to this yard i thought i've been here i have never seen this before bro we're gonna have to make the most of this bro i'm gonna be like do you have any 90 uh honda civics any 90 acura integras we're looking for s10 blazers colorado colorado hell yeah bro we gotta look up every vehicle while we're here good lord this is a, a freaking hour away from the house <laughs> All right, we made it inside of the yard, man. We're going to take a little pit stop right here on this prelude, prelude that's got a carbon fiber rear bumper. What's up? <laughs> so they have actually got four uh, 1985 S10, 85 S10, 87 S10, and an 89 S10. So hell freaking yeah, this is all rows 38, 40, 37, and 33. So, GM trucks and SUVs, we gotta go to that section right there. We're kind of skimming through the uh, import section really quick to see what they got. So far, it's all like newer, 
like newer 90s like these preludes and stuff <laughs> oh there's an eg sedan yeah you can tell we're in freaking chandler gilbert <laughs> one thing i've noticed really quick about this yard is it's all like this bro there's shit everywhere completely covering the ground all over the damn place it's hard to walk through here Row 33 is first. Thirty-three. And we're looking for a white S10. No glove box door and no clean seats. Son of a bitch. Tilting column. So four by four. Four by four extended cab. Kinda like these, bro. I honestly I was trying to find these on like eBay or Google or something. You can't bro like mm. it has all four of them. Huh. Yeah, I'm trying to hit oh, is that a Yukon? It doesn't have the license plate lights. No. Raven needs a license plate light. One of his is missing <clears throat> or broken or something. Is it missing or broken? It's broken. Well, it's, I have it. Yeah. Oh, look. The hood to the S10's underneath it. I wanted to hit the whole damn thing to be filled up by it. <sighs> but yeah, bro, the hitch would be so easy to unbolt on that. I wonder how much they charge me for these. Look at this caked up ass shit, bro. Good lord. I'm gonna think about the fender liner, my jiggers. Anyhow, yeah, our next one, this is 33, next one is 37. And it's gonna be a yellow s10 1987 yellow s10 so let's go find that thing <laughs> hey look here's another one this isn't even on the list that's yeah, another crew cab oh it's got a glove box oh Bro, go get that damn butterfly seat cover off of there and see what that seat looks like. I swear, if they both look like this, I'd be down for that. It's better than nothing. Damn, no rips. What is that on the side? Sticking out there. Like a lumbar. This one's supposed to have it, but it's missing. Mine's broken right freaking there. This will definitely work. It's in Tahoe. 
They have different models. They have a Tahoe edition. Is that really a stock stereo? <laughs> huh. That's nifty. What year is this one? This is not on the list. Is there a sticker over there? It says uh, the year? 93. Huh. Humdinger. Cool tail lights too. It's got the black trim. Yeah. What's that? Piece above it. 4.3. Alright, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, glove box door for sure. For sure. We're gonna check the other ones, see if they have any other seats. I don't know, maybe I'll get these. What do you think? Um, I think that is missing a lot of like little the plastic stuff on it. I ha I still have my seats though. This has missing this and also the same rest, but I still have my seats though. I can. Depends how much charge here. Parts off though. Man, this is a pretty complete truck, bro. Looks like it's like bent. Like this is like bent going like this. I don't know. I'm going to grab that glove box door. And we'll see if we find any other seats. Oh, I need this too. Do you remember it's the driver's side or passenger side of this that I need? I think it's the driver's side. Because one of them's like blue and it's like cracked, but this one's all lifted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For every single one of these Tahoe Yukons that I've seen, all have hitches on them. Yeah. Even mine, if you look underneath it, you can tell that it used to have one. Like you can tell like the grind marks are right there. I'm like, damn, I got gypped. He probably took it off because he lowered it and he was tired of hitting like curve whenever he like reversed into it. I'd rather hit my hitch than my bumper. Yeah. I'd rather have a hitch and not have one. <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of extra stuff off just because I want the hardware. I want this these factory screws. So I was missing some. Bang. Bang bang. There it is. Nice. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Can we take a quick moment? Just a really quick moment. To take a gander. <laughs> to take a gander, bro. Oh my goodness. Interesting. They had a vision. They made it happen. So this has a yellow first gen. Look at that. It's a yellow first gen. Do you think that's a factory color? The whole engine bay is yellow. Oh, uh, I think the engine bay was probably the factory color. And it was resprayed yellow. I don't know. Do these come yellow? The door jams yellow? Yeah, the door jams are yellow. Oh, this is crazy custom. No glove box. No seats. Well, I want to think uh, first, first gen would come in yellow. Look, there it is. Another crew cab. They haven't had a single uh, single cab here. What's up? 
was that? Mm, there's That's no way it's the Colorado. I mean, freaking. Tough. No. Oh, look, this is the seats that everyone else gets. The cloth? Mm hmm. Yeah. Douchebags. It has a third row seat. Does it? Dude, does everybody need license plate lights off these things or what? Dude. Well, look. Another damn S10 just sitting there. <laughs> the hell <laughs> this one's not on the list either that is a really clean ass looking bumper but it's an ugly ass bumper yeah, and the whole freaking truck is on hey, look there you go jesus sure. you can already tell it's a bench seat Glove box was duct tape shut. Well, oh, that's an older glove box, anyhow. What the heck is that? Damn, this was a five speed four wheel drive. That's pretty dope. These old trucks have so much character. Probably a good engine. We've seen 33, 37. Oh, this was 38. This one was on the list. And now we need to go to row 40. It's supposed to be a white S10. I see it poking out down there. So this is another crew cab. They don't have a single single cab here. It's crazy. Oh, that's locked. Anyhow, the interior is gone. This thing is pretty damn bare, bro. There's no engine. All the AC controls are gone off the firewall. The wheel wheels are gone. Honestly, this thing looked like somebody was doing a, a V8 swap on it. But it is just stripped down. Anyhow, this, this right here is the style seat that i want i don't want like i would rather not get the claw seat i want this go. i want this style seat right here it's like the it's like the leather but i want it in black obviously to go with my interior um i mentioned to you guys a while back that a subscriber sent me a picture from the junkyard of some really clean s10 seats they were these right here but black and stupid ass clean no holes or nothing no rips and then uh yeah i i don't know who it was i can't find the message and i even i posted about it on my story on instagram i've mentioned it in a video for whoever that was to hit me back up and i haven't heard anything <sighs> that was that was months ago so i'm sure they're gone by now well this was row 40 yeah, that's the last one that's on the list. I mean, we can continue down looking. Oh, shit. There's a Max right there. I'm glad I noticed that because... I need to get fenders. I need to get fenders for Max. I'm not going to spend any money on Max until Max is running. Just to put that out there, but... That can't stop me from uh, window shopping, you know what I'm saying? That's definitely not a fender I want. Neither is that. This is a different body style anyhow. The Max. Raven! Where you at? Did you find your Tahoe light? No, here. 
They're all gone. Uh, all the license plate lights are gone? Oh, we're gone. Jeez. I can't even find the little interior. Because that little cubby piece that I have right there that I want to replace. Yeah. That thing is where all the OnStar ones come. So it's like, it's, I guess it's rare to find one of those little cubby ones. All uh, of them have had the same thing. I mean, rare. Yeah, my Suburban has that OnStar thing. I need to get rid of that. That'd be a dope ass little cubby to put my vape in. Hmm. Well, I was thinking about getting these seats, but under closer inspection, this one is like bent. Like it's like bending out the passenger side. You know what I mean? And honestly, I think that's blood. Does that look like dried up blood to you right there? Some type of the, the body not, fluid. I, yeah, I don't know. But anyhow, going to the passenger seat as well. Like, this is all broken out. Like, I don't know, somebody needed a part in here and maybe they just pried it all open, who knows. It looks like there's a cable missing that's supposed to go from there to there. Like, and it just, it doesn't stay locked back. I don't know, it's, they're a decent set of seats. They're not black. It's not exactly what it is I want. Um, but I was kind of thinking that they would do for now actually get the seating position correct inside of the blazer but for the I mean they want like $70 a piece for these I would rather not you know like these just they they don't feel like the seat for me bro so I'm gonna pass I feel confident that one of these days I'll find a damn seat that's gonna be for me you know what I mean sure i'll find a seat that'll be for me hell yeah i'll just put some i'll just put some recaros in the blazer you yeah, know what for, i'm saying for that freaking <sighs> well one hell of a drive out here i got my glove box door that's pretty much it <laughs> all right we came we saw and now we are leaving they literally didn't have any of these lights for braven's yukon so you need one right there but anyhow, off to the machine shop. bit he said the valves look like that he, he's not gonna know until he tears it apart but 
He says the valves looks like they just need to be cleaned up a little bit, but the head is definitely warped on the top more than on the bottom, which means that um, at some point when somebody had it resurfaced, they should have heated it, clamped it, and kind of straightened it out before they resurfaced it. Um, I guess that head has already had 30 thousandths taken off. I don't know. I don't know. He said there's plenty enough material there to get it straight. Um, that the actual head surface isn't as bad uh, as the top. I guess the top is more freaking crooked, more out of out of square than the bottom, like where you know the the head gasket actually sits. But anyhow, um, I left it with him. He's he's got my phone number and everything. He's gonna tear it apart and let me know what all it needs. If it needs a valve stem guy or valve seals, if it needs any valves, etc. All that. He said he's also going to go through all my springs and check the resistance on them. <coughs> Make sure they're all good too. So, anyhow, now we're off to the PO box. Got a package to go pick up. What you got there, buddy? <laughs> Everything's locked. <laughs> Damn it. As I said, everything's locked. From the uh, Gotham t-shirts, I got one return package, and that's Cole Watkins. For some reason, they don't want to send a shirt to your P.O. box, brother. I mean, I'll be in touch with you, but the hell is on the lens? I got your shirt, Cole. Well, every single one of these are an Amazon package. When I said I was expecting a package at the P.O. box, it's a regular box. Like, it, it's sent from, uh, like, it's not an Amazon package. So none of these are what it is that I was expecting. Uh, but this was all that was there. So the, the package that I'm referring to probably just hasn't made it yet. Anyhow, let's get into these, see what's all in them. They've been there a while. Oh, Jill. You got dang dog food. Love watching your videos. Here's something for Toby and something to quench your thirst from Roseanne Richardson. Quench my thirst. Oh, that's probably another one of the boxes. Well, thank you, Roseanne Richardson. Yeah, sure. I most certainly appreciate it. So one of these uh, must be from her. It's not gonna be that. Bro, I most certainly appreciate it. I was just upset right now that I didn't stop and grab some Red Bulls uh, before we got home. Cause I'm like, man, now we're home. Now I want a Red Bull and now I gotta leave, go to the store to come back. Now all I gotta do is throw these in the fridge, let them get cold. I better be careful cause the box is kind of opened up. I appreciate it, Rose, most certainly, thank you. And I am actually really excited to let Toby and Puppers try this. I have been struggling with them on food. I gotta pre-warn you though, they are the most pickiest freaking dogs ever. I keep buying this expensive ass kibble and it doesn't matter how expensive it is. It don't matter. They just, they are picky bro. They won't eat just anything. I got Red Bull. I almost whacked Braden. All right, one more. the hell? Dog food bowls. <laughs> Dog's got more gifts than us. Yeah, from the same person, from Roseanne. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. I most, most certainly appreciate it. You know what? I'll give them some right now inside of these new dog food bowls. Those are inside bowls. Yeah, we'll, we'll put these ones inside. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is what I used to put their food in, but now I actually have some like this sitting over there that's got their food in it. Yeah, I, it's behind Pops. I'm gonna go rinse these out really quick. Should we do both of them food or one of them food and one water for in the house? 
One food, one water. Yeah, probably one food, one water. Do you want to try this? You want to try it? Let's see if you like it. He's probably not hungry right now because they've already ate. What's up, dude? You don't like it or what? Try it, man. Puppers. I know, they're spoiled to death and they're picky. Look at him, not even, there's a bowl of food right there, bro. What the hell is this, dude? <laughs> what the hell is this, dude? Toby took one piece. He's like, where's my freaking sirloin steak at? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not hungry right now. They'll, they'll eat it later, I guarantee you. It's like you have to starve these dogs for them to eat kibble anymore. They're so spoiled. They only want canned food. But then it makes some shit all over the place. Anyhow, I am feeling a little bit better today. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but I could, I could still feel it inside of me. You know what I'm saying? It's like all your joints and my hips for whatever reason. Like everything hurts, dude. <laughs> Anyhow, it does feel really good to be making some moves on khaki. Dude, this thing is just sitting out here gleaming, bro. This car is just a presence whenever it's all cleaned up and shiny. But it does feel good to be making moves on it. Um, I'm excited that the head is at the machine shop to get the love it needs. Now, I also have um, a set of pistons up here that I was thinking about maybe getting inside of the block. Uh, pistons and rods. Uh, they're just some cheapies, bro. They're... Uh, like scat rods and Nipon pistons, I'm pretty sure. But they are definitely higher compression. Um, whenever it comes to the block, I have no idea what it is I'm doing. Like as far as bearings and like I, I've watched enough videos to know like how to like gap rings and stuff like that, but that's probably the extent of my knowledge. Like the whole uh, plasti gauge and everything for the bearings and all that stuff, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't get, uh, I don't know if you guys remember Cody from JB Engines. I'm gonna see if maybe, like, if I reach out to him, if uh, he'd be willing to help me out with the block side of it. Cause I'm pretty sure these are oversized pistons. So I'd probably have to have my block board. Um, I think that's the only thing I would need done at a machine shop. So basically take these pistons down and have them measure it, bore the block, bore it and hone it to fit these. Um, and then at that point we could assemble it with, I'd probably have to order some new rings and order some new bearings and then be able to assemble it with this setup. Um, it'd be a little bit better than stock, you know, I'm a lot better than stock. Up our compression, have a stronger rod. We'll see though, I, I don't know. Uh, that's what I would like to do. And if you guys don't know, inside of here, that is my Pro 2 cam. So I do have my Skunk 2 Pro 2s still. So with the head getting the dual valve springs and getting refreshed, um, if we can get these pistons and rods in there, I think this should bump it up to about 13 to 1 compression. Um, and then with the Pro 2 cams, and of course, now, I went and traded manifolds with Curly a while back, if you guys remember. Uh, I now have the same manifold I had before, uh, Victor X, but this one, Curly actually opened it up and he uh, like bored it all out on the inside. What the hell is it called, man? It's not called bored. You guys know what I'm saying. I, I can't think, dude. My brain's not working at all the last couple of days. But this one is set up for a direct port. So we'll be able to actually run a direct port setup and that should definitely help us rather than because before i just had a single fogger going to the intake uh being able to run a direct port would be a lot stronger of a hit be a pretty nasty ass little freaking nitrous car as it should be those are the plans stick with me man uh just hang in there you gotta be patient i'm on a tight budget you know what i'm saying but anyhow if you guys would like to support the channel for you know any further than what you already do believe me i don't expect anybody to uh just watching the videos hitting the like button all that stuff that's that's good enough for me but this Take it a step further. Grab yourself some merch, man. My merch link is in the description down below. Grab yourself some t-shirts. We do have the Halloween t-shirts available right now um, until Thanksgiving. I, I still haven't even started, but I'm gonna start designing a couple Thanksgiving designs, and then the Halloween will fall off, and then I'll post up the Thanksgiving design. So if you guys do wanna help out with, uh, with the builds, man, because I would like to, I really would like to build a block this time. That's the one thing that I haven't done yet is actually built a block and if i can get 
um, enough funds together to take my block down to um, bad guys That'd be dope, dude. Bad guys, if you guys didn't know, is now local here to me. But yeah, that'd be really dope. Take the block down there and have him uh, work his magic on it over there at Bad Guys and actually build something that can be competitive. Uh, that'd be nice, rather than just throwing Pro 2s and Nitrous at something, actually get a block that's, that's you know, able to hold, build some power, able to make some power. <sighs> I think I've already said this. I can't think right now, dude. I do still feel like crap. I'm feeling better, but I still feel like crap. There's one more thing that I said yesterday I wanted to get done, and that was blast all this freaking bird shit off of Pops, man. This actually, like this genuinely pisses me off, man. This makes me angry, bro. Like, I've almost broken my window so many times, banging on it, watching like 15 damn birds fly away from my bike. Look at this. All over the filter. Dude, it's literally everywhere. It's on the seat. Look at the handles. Furious, makes me furious, makes me angry. Oh my God, dude, it makes me so mad. I've come out here so many times with my BB gun and I'm like, well, <laughs> if I miss the bird, I'm gonna hit my bike, you know? Like, what can you do? Or it's gonna ricochet, hit one of my damn cars. I need to get an airsoft gun. That's what I need to get. Like a fully auto freaking airsoft gun, but one of the strong ones that's gonna fuck a bird up, but it's not gonna mess up my bike. You know what I'm saying? I gotta take this damn filter off of here because I can just blast it off with it on there. Dude, you guys wanna know, like the, the first time this happened, the very first time this happened, you guys remember I made a video detailing the shit out of this bike and put the brand new filter on it. The first time this happened, it was even more shit than this, was the day after making that video, detailing the shit out of the bike and everything. The very next day, it was like this. All right, Pops is all cleaned up, and I'm just gonna make sure and keep it away from the freaking dog's food bowl. The problem is the birds are treating it like a freaking perch because the dog's food bowl's right there. So they all gather around and they take turns hopping down there and, and grabbing dog food. So as long as I keep the bike away from the dog food bowl, we should be good. Why don't you guys tell me you're not in frame, man? What the hell? Yeah, bro, this is, this is really bad. I gotta try to do something, look at this. How freaking dirty that is, bro, and dusty. Well, the way I see it, I'm either going to try and do something with what it is that I've got. I mean, that's my first option, right? Let's see if we can't try to clean these up uh, and use what it is we have here. Uh, I'm gonna put all this stuff in the washing machine. I'm gonna put it on delicate, uh, put a little bit of laundry soap in there, and hopefully it comes out okay. You know what I'm saying? I haven't actually like really tried. Um, and then we'll kind of clean this stuff up. And whenever this stuff is done, we'll try to put it back together and see what we end up with. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we can kind of salvage this for the time being. If not, then 
I'm gonna need to uh, invest some money into them, take them to an upholstery shop or something. I don't know, I just, I really don't want to get a new set of seats. If I were to get like a new set of seats, I'd want to get like, like some Bride Low Max or something like some really nice seat that probably worth more than the car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously, whenever a seat is so expensive that it's like, okay, let's figure out which one of my cars to sell and we'll buy a set of seats. Like, that's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm gonna throw those in a wash. <laughs> All right, so I have figured out a couple of things here. All of that like crap that was inside of here that I thought was like dirt uh, that I was blowing out earlier, like there was a shitload of it. Uh, and there's still kind of some in here. That's not dirt. What that is is the old padding that is just deteriorating and just breaking down. And it was just turning into like, like a dirt, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't actual dirt. This is the driver's seat. This one was the worst one. This is the one that hasn't had the cover on it for a really long time. Uh, this one, I haven't done anything to yet, but do you see this piece of fabric that sits in here? It's all stuck and everything right now because this actually has Velcro on it. So there's a Velcro strip that runs all the way up and then one on both sides, right? one of the reasons why I'm having so much problems with the fabric on the outside is because what holds that fabric on the outside is uh, this Velcro that's inside of here. That and uh, this fabric piece, it wraps around and it has some something, it's like a drawstring, like, um, like on a pair of swimming trunks. You know, you have a drawstring um, and then you pull it tight and then you tie it. Well, that's the same setup as this. This seat has a lip that goes all the way around. So the fabric comes around here and it's got a drawstring built into it. So once you get it wrapped all the way around, down here, you pull those drawstrings and you tighten it down. And that's what holds the fabric around the edges. But on the inside, it's this Velcro. So uh, not only, well, that seat was a lot worse. All of this padding right here, that's all torn up this was all hanging down and this piece of fabric was completely detached from the seat so i went through and i used some uh spray adhesive and i got that all sprayed back down and this is like this is like the supposedly like really good spray adhesive i got this from the uh, uh hobby lobby <laughs> tag is all still on it 20 dollars for that can man so anyhow, it's working pretty good. So now I need to go through and do this one. I'm using spray adhesive, just getting this all flattened back out again. Uh, getting this sprayed and glued up here where it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, and then hopefully we have a pretty good base to start off with. Now is the fabric going to be in any better condition after coming out of the dryer? I don't know, man. <laughs> We'll see, but I'm gonna do what it is I can. I think it's gonna come out a lot better than what it was, most certainly. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the passenger seat down now. So, this is what it looks like before. All saggy and loose. And just like that, everything is all glued down and nice once again. Got the pad up there, attached, back attached to the seat. It actually looks pretty good, dude. The, the seats are now ready for the fabric. This one doesn't look as good, but of course it'll be covered up. You know what I'm saying? So the problem is the fabric. Now the one that I just took off today, this is the passenger seat. Um, really, I, I could use it on the driver's seat. It doesn't really matter, but this was the passenger seat. Uh, this fabric is in pretty good shape after being washed. The driver's seat, I washed this one again. I washed it once a long time ago also, but it's not in great condition. But the th this isn't from washing it though. This is the edge 
that is, this is like right here, you know what I'm saying? It's that edge that you brush against as you're getting in and out. So yeah, it has taken some, some wear over the years. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that work. I mean, it's gonna look like crap for sure. But I'm gonna try to get this fabric back on. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the good one on the driver's side though. So I'm gonna use the good fabric on the driver's side and I'm gonna try to get this one on the passenger side because then at least this ripped up portion, it won't be, it'll be like towards the center of the vehicle. It's not gonna be like on the outside towards the door. I don't know. If I can make it work, I'm gonna make it work. If not, then yeah. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Cody, JB Engines actually messaged me on uh, Instagram. He had a pretty decent idea to go ahead and just strip all this out and just kind of sand this clear coat the whole thing and then just have uh just bare carbon fiber seats <laughs> i don't know man it would suck not to have any kind of padding but we'll figure something out boom 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 what's up man <laughs> as soon as I start making playful noises, it doesn't matter where he's at. He comes out the woodworks, huh? Say, hey man, you sound playful in here. What's up, man? You wanna play with me? <laughs> trying to close my video out here, buddy. I'm trying to close my video out here, buddy. And you you in here with all your fluffiness, man. So anyhow, what's up, dude? <laughs> Seats came out pretty good, man, I must say. Without having to spend any money, just doing with what it is we've got. You know what I'm saying? I made it work. So this is this is the passenger seat with the driver's side cover on it, like I mentioned I was gonna do. Uh, this is the driver's seat with the passenger side cover on it. So um, obviously I made the driver's seat uh, look nicer with the nicer cover that's not all ripped up and stuff because um, I always have two seats in khaki, but just in case I do pull a seat out, at least I have the good seat, the, the good looking seat in there, you know what I'm saying? This one, I mean, it's not terrible, bro. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, of course, but I mean, the little bit of torn up look to it, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. To be straight up with you, it didn't look like this whenever I got these seats. All of this wear is from me, you know what I'm saying? So it's just my, uh, my wear and tear through the years of driving khaki, so. Uh, but yeah, dude, it came out really nice, man. I'm actually really satisfied with this. Uh, they are as clean as they could possibly be. Um, and they don't smell like cat piss. <laughs> they smell like laundry detergent now. So, anyhow, put in the comments what you guys think. Like I said, it's not perfect, but a lot better than what they were, and at least I got them back on there. So now they're presentable enough to put back into the car. Anyhow, guys, that's pretty much it for today, man. Uh, I do have, ooh, I do have a glove box door. Um, and I've got some door panels and stuff that I got to paint on the blazer, but we can't do everything in one day That'll have to be in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one um, I am starting to feel a lot better. So tomorrow I should be able to get a lot more done Hopefully don't don't hold me to that. I might get a little lazy. Who knows? <laughs> tell him bye Toby. What's up, man? You gonna tell him bye? You gonna tell him what's up, man? You gotta tell him bye, dude. He's been doing a little spinning too. Watch <laughs> you have to start him. You start, you, it, it's hard to do it with one hand. Here, let me put you guys on the tripod. Let's see if he'll do it. Come here, dude. Come here. What's up, man? Oh, you're tired, huh? That's what it is. He's tired. He's like, oh, bro, don't pick me up again, man. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell him bye, Toby. Say bye, Toby. Put me down, bro. You got my whole ass body in your arms, man. <laughs> my whole ass body. Whatever, don't tell him bye then. Don't tell him bye. You're not the professional at it anyhow. Later, Rughead. Later. <laughs>